What's up guys, Knife Jim here back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video and today we are going to be talking about Shuckle. So we've got a couple of VGC sets, yes multiple sets for Shuckle. We also have a single spotlight, uh, speed tiers and damage calc so if that's something you're interested in stick around. You can also skip around of course we have uh, timestamps. Anyway, so let's talk about it. So Shuckle, bug rock typing, pretty weird, you know, two resistances, three weaknesses, not too bad, not too great. Um, you know, like more weaknesses than resistances is never good, but it's, you know, not terrible um, since it's only three. And no quad weaknesses is, like, very good. So, not bad. Um, good ability, sturdy, you know, natural focus sash, pretty solid, um, especially with such a low HP. But we do have, like, absurd defenses and special defenses. Let's talk uh, about its stats. So, HP at 20, really low, but... It's fine, because defense and special defense, both at 230. Now, there are multiple ways of playing this Pokemon. First off, you can power trip and then be very, very offensive. Or second off, you can just be chilling and, uh, you know, toxic them, put in a little bit of damage, put out some spikes, put out some stealth rocks type, uh, type, type things. So, you know, it works pretty well. Um, attack and special attack both at 10. Very, very pathetic. I mean, it does literally no damage without uh, power tripping. And then you also have speed at 5, which once again is pathetic, but not that bad on Trick Room. You can use this Pokemon with Trick Room. Um, you could also just like, you know, tank a lot of attacks and then uh, it's fine. You can also even put it up enough speed to outspeed most uh, Trick Room Pokemon, which is really cool and something that, you know, could be explored. Anyway, that is going to be it for our overview. Let's go ahead and look into some of the builds for VGC. So, first off, we have um, the first build here is going to be uh, Power Trick. So, this is the, the most interesting thing about Power Tricking is uh, it, it changes your, uh, it trades your defense and special defense for attack and special defense. Or, or for attack and special attack. I feel like I said that really badly. So, essentially what it does is it ch just changes it up. Um, it makes your 230 base attack or 230 base defense into 230 base attack. So this is really, really big for Shuckle. It can become a very, very offensive Pokemon. You can Dynamax it um, and then just hit really big Okos on big Pokemon. I mean, you can even um, Oko things like Dynamax, Tyranitar um, with things like Helping Hand, which both of these Follow Me users get hel Helping Hand as well. So that's very, very good. So essentially, you know, you just want to power trick. Um, you have a natural uh, Focus Sash, which is very good. You also... Definitely accompany it, accompany it with uh, follow me so that, you know, only multi-targeting attacks are hitting you. And there's not very much of that. You know, there's not too much muddy water. There's a lot of expanding force and there's a lot of, uh, you know, rock slide. But overall, you're going to be living for a little while, which is pretty cool. So, Shuckle. Let's talk about it. So, a Guav Berry is what we went with here. Since we have the natural focus sash, it's going to hit us down to our sash and then, or hit us down to sturdy, and then we're going to get a lot of HP back from Guav Berry. So, this, that's pretty good. So, this first build, the top build here, is going to be the uh, offensive Dynamaxing Power Trick um, offense build. So, uh, sturdy, best ability, definitely. I mean, it has other abilities that are like okay. You know, Gluttony is pretty cool. Um, instead of, you, you can use your, um, Pinch Berries at 50%, which is pretty cool, but not as good as Sturdy. And then we also have Contrary here, which is cool. Um, you know, it just changes, uh, it reverses any kind of stat um, dropping or stat raising. So it's, it's really cool for things like, uh, you know, like Intimidate. That could be cool. Um, raise your attack. But without Power Trick, uh, you know, your attack doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, pretty good stuff. A guav berry sturdy there's definitely other options you can go with you could go with uh, safety goggles so you can't get spored or sleep powder which is cool um, you could also go with leftovers just to heal up a little bit that's probably going to be the better option for um you know defensive over offensive but it's still an option and then we also just have citrus berry um if you want to you know guarantee that berry eating is pretty good um, but with sturdy you know a guav berry becomes pretty much set in stone Next, we have um, our attacks. Let's talk about some attacks for this Pokemon. So, um, in the offensive version, of course, we're going to be, be playing Power Trick. Um, that's the whole point of this build, is you Power Trick, and then you Dynamax, and then you hit huge max moves with uh, great max moves, actually. Um, we went with Dual Stab, you know, Rock Slide, Bug Bite, and then we also added Steel Roller. Um, it becomes, you know, Max Steel Spike, which supplements your defense, which then becomes terrible after Power Trick. Um, so that's good, but it's really mostly for your, uh, you know, side-by-side -side Pokemon. You also do have access to things like Dig, giving us Max Quake, which is really good. We have Knock Off and Body Slam. A lot of great options, um, but I do like Dual Stab, 
grab power trick and then one move of choice which we went with steel roller it hits a lot of damage it hits things like rillaboom which are you know kind of annoying to this pokemon it also hits real uh you know the indeedy kind of uh stylings and psy spam is kind of annoying for this especially since you can like follow me and steel roller and then uh, you know they don't have that multi-targeting attack anymore i mean they still have dazzling gleam if it's hatterene indeedy but you know whatever um, so yeah, it's pretty much just power trick, dual stab, one move of choice, and we went with Steel Roller. So I think it's good. Um, as far as our EVs went, we just went 252 into HP and defense, and 4 into special defense. I did do some calcs, and we, you know, ha of course have a sp uh, the damage calcs later in the video. But for this, yeah, HP and defense is really good. You're able to, to live um, certain attacks, things like Cinderace, um, you know, Iron Head, or Max Steel Spike, rather. Uh, with life orb you can live you know max rockfall from tyranitar there's a lot of attacks that are really good that you can live which is good um and then we went with imp impish nature as well just giving us that plus defense um is really good and especially after power tricking because you switch it um which is really good so that's about it for that build um as far as synergetic pokemon go for that we just have follow me users um mostly you know togekiss and indeedee and i would not um you know say don't use both because it's fine to use both um, but you only really need one because as soon as you set up power trick you get one to two turns off of, of you know Okoing mons then chuckle did its job, which is really good um, Yeah, I, I think this build is probably the best way to play it. It's really interesting. It's really cool um, But you know there the defensive way is also good. It's more standard um, and that's what we're gonna talk about now so Chuckle defensive this is without power trick. Um, we're just doing damage which is cool. Oh, also, um, the IVs, I put in 18 speed with Impish Nature. It gives us uh, 19 speed, which underspeeds um, everything. You know, Snorlax, even Snorlax at Curse. And we'll talk about this more in the speed tiers portion. Um, but being slow with Trick Room could be a good option. Or just being, uh, or like I said, you can uh, go in a little bit of speed and then actually outspeed all those Trick Room Pokemon. So that's another option, uh, two different options. But we just went with the slow version here um, because, you know, why not? So... Shuckle, defensive. We went with mental herb. So this essentially just says we can't get taunted, um, or at least the first time we can't get taunted, which is really good because every single move that we use, if we get taunted, we would then struggle, um, which you don't want to do, obviously. We have guard split and power split being able to, you know, make this Pokemon pretty offensive or make your partner Pokemon very, very defensive. Guard split, uh, you know, essentially like pain splitting um, your uh, defensive stat with... Uh, the target so you'll guard split your own pokemon something like you could lead shuckle dragapult and then guard split your dragapult now it's like you know very defensive as well as being really offensive um so that could be a really cool idea then you also have power split which is cool you can uh, up against a pokemon an offensive pokemon you power split and then you trade off those stats and then you become pretty powerful while making the opponent's pokemon really weak so that's really cool so guard split power split is a really interesting way of playing shuckle um, mental orb ignores taunt so that we can uh, you know guard split and power split without hitch it's pretty cool then we also have toxic for damage dealing so toxic you know is okay in vgc but it's by far better in singles so i think shuckles is more of a singles mon unless you're using that first the build the power trick so that's why i'm gonna you know spend le a little bit less time on shuckle um defensive in vgc but then we also have protect of course so those are our options for shuckle um you can also go with uh you know some kind of attack you also have iron defense or encore um, all those options, which is really cool. O Encore and Iron Defense are both uh, things worth exploring in Shuckle. But, you know, we don't really need too much more defense with Iron Defense. And it doesn't get Body Press. If it got Body Press, this Pokemon would be so cool. It doesn't get Body Press. Unfortunate. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I think this Pokemon would be insane with Body Press, actually. So, uh, our one synergetic Pokemon for defensive Shuckle is Rillaboom. It really just covers all typings. It gets rid of, uh, you know, terrains, which is really good. Um, and it gives us terrain that heals us up a little bit. It gi essentially giving us a leftovers as well um, on top of our mental orb, which is really good. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for Shuckle. Um, I also, a couple of things here on the side. Um, we already went over the physical moves options and, uh, you know, supportive moves options. But we do have some special attacks here as well. You can go with special attacking um, Shuckle as well. But I just think the, uh, you know, move pool for physical is better. So... That is what we went with. Although you can get intimidated then, so, you know, you get to pick. Anyway, that is going to be it for our overview or for our builds in VGC. Let's go ahead and talk about some speed tiers. So, I don't have to talk too much here because we are down there at 9 um, with our spread of uh, Impish plus 18 speed stat um, or EV 
IVs, rather. Um, we do hit 19, which is still the slowest thing on the screen, um, which is good. Um, Snorlax, Chrislax is not big anymore, um, but it's still nice to underspeed everything guaranteed, which I like about uh, Shuckle is you underspeed everything, which is very good. Um, you know, Torkoal, Dusclops, Hatterene, everything above your outspeeding uh, once Trick Room is set, and everything above your underspeeding when Trick Room is not set. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I'm going to talk about this anymore. So let's move on to damage calcs. So damage calcs are pretty cool. The first four are going to be offensive um, with the power trick. Um, you know, very, very offensive max dynamaxing is cool. Uh, I mean, as you can see here, guaranteed Oko, guaranteed Oko, uh, over and over is pretty cool. So let's start it off with max rockfall, dynamaxed shuckle. This is after power tricking into a defensive spread of Togekiss, 236 HP, 196 plus defense. Um, very, very defensive Togekiss against our very, very offensive shuckle. I think this build is really cool with the power trick. So let's talk about it. Um, guaranteed Oko, got him. 142 damage uh, to 167, very, very big percentage, which is a guaranteed Oko. Very good stuff. Now, if it is a, uh, you know, offensive uh, Togekiss and a Dynamaxes instead, let's go ahead and run that calc real quick. Let's have it right here. So, 0 HP, 0 defense, 4, four HP. Uh, Dynamax. So, we are hitting, and, oh, yikes, uh, 230 here, 232. Sorry. Uh, anyway, so Rock Slide, Max Rock, Max Rockfall into Dynamaxed, um, no defense. And this is bold as well, so we'll go ahead and switch that. We are hitting 99.3 to 118, which is a 93.8% chance to Oko. So honestly, you just have a great matchup against Togekiss in general, which makes for you know pretty good, uh, pretty good offensive. Next we have our attacking Shuckle, Max Rockfall into Incineroar. This is after an Intimidate. Um, which makes us minus one, which we are still hitting a uh, guaranteed Oko, which is huge. 236 HP, four defense. Um, you know, common Incineroars will have a little bit more um, defense, but we're hitting 124 to 147, which gives us a really good wiggle room to still get that guaranteed Oko. Guaranteed Oko, even if it has, you know, pretty good defensive. We see most defensive um, Incineroars have like 28 to 30, um, you know, defensive uh, 28, you know, sometimes more. Sometimes we see phys very physical offensive Incineroars, um, but usually, you know, it's not going to be very defensive physical. And, um, yeah, we're going to take pretty decisive Okos against um, an Incineroar, even after Intimidate. So that's really good. Next, we have uh, Shuckle, Helping Hand, Max Flutterby. So Max Flutterby without Helping Hand is not going to offer an Oko, uh, a guaranteed Oko against Tyranitar, Dynamax Tyranitar. But with Helping Hand... Um, and 252 plus attack, we are hitting max Flutterby into the Tyranitar, hitting a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, 107, you know, 0.2 to 126.5, which is a guaranteed Oko with Helping Hand. Very, very big. You know, you power trick up turn one, uh, and then you kill their Tyranitar, <laughs> and it's dead. Um, next, we have our last offensive calc. We have max Rockfall from our Shuckle into a Cinderace 4 HP Dynamaxed. We are hitting 152. This is also flying type, by the way. This is after they max our stream. If they go for, you know, Steel Spike or something, we're not going to be Okoing. Um, but this is if they max our stream turn, uh, you know, one or two, probably two, because we have to power trick turn one. Um, but yeah, we are hitting into the Cinderace, hitting 152 to 180%, which is very, very good. Guaranteed Oko. Great stuff. Um, these are both Dynamax as well, the Tyranitar and Cinderace, um, you know, of course. Next, we have our two defensive calcs. Now, these are for our defensive spread of Shuckle. Um, so, it is going to be 252 HP, 252 plus defense. So, let's talk about it. Tyranitar Max Rockfall from, you know, Max Invested Adamant Tyranitar is hitting 77 to 91%, which is really good for us. Guaranteed 2 hit KO. We guaranteed live it. Very good. Next, we have um, our Dynamaxed Libero Cinderace with Life Orb. Uh, max steel spike into our very defensive boy hitting 81 to 98 now this is also cool um for turn one power tricking uh it means you guaranteed live their max steel spike which is good which is their most offensive move into our shuckle um so great great stuff you know guaranteed live that pretty good stuff um anyway i'm not going to spend any more time in the damage calc portion because we're already almost 15 minutes in so let's move along into single spotlight now i did mention that this pokemon has some cool stuff to do in singles and i you know wholeheartedly believe that um, we went all into defense and HP as far as the EV spread goes. We just want to be very, very defensive. These are level 100 calcs. You can change it to level 50, you know, with the 252, 252, 4. It's not going to change anything. You can go with that for level 50 or 100. Um, but yeah, 
we went with ability sturdy still of course and then mental herb as well just so we can't get taunted you don't want to get taunted with this pokemon because once again we have four moves that are not damaging four moves we're gonna get we're gonna use struggle if we get taunted so mental herb is great for that uh for combating that um yeah this pokemon has a couple of entry hazards which is cool we have sticky web and stealth rock both are very good sticky web lowering their speed when they come in and then stealth rock lowering uh, or just dealing damage, which is good. And then we also have Toxic to break down walls. Since this Pokemon does no damage, we have Toxic, which is good. And like I said, Toxic is much better in singles and VGC just because there are more turns. Um, and the Pokemon will switch around a lot, but then you have Toxic um, on all of those Pokemon, which is good. You also have Encore here as the last Pokemon uh, or the last uh, attack on the set. Encore can be really good for Pokemon that think they're going to set up against Shuckle. They go for a Swords Dance and you just Encore them and now they can't play the game. So it works really well. Anyway, that is it for our single spotlight and about it for the video. Um, overall, I think Shuckle and VGC, definitely I would try the power trick. It's really cool. It does a lot of damage. Um, and, you know, it can become an amazing Dynamax target. And it's cool. It, that's really it. It's cool. It's not going to be super high tier. It's not going to be great. But it is very, very cool. And I will stick with that. Shuckle does a lot of damage once it's power tricked. And it's cool. Um, as far as defensive, I wouldn't really use it in VGC, but it is a good option and, uh, you know, something that if you want to try Shuckle, you can go for a defensive as well. Um, singles, a little bit better in VGC, uh, or it's a little bit better in singles than VGC, but still, you know, notable in VGC. Anyway, that is going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Shuckle is pretty cool, but, you know, not super good. But it does some really cool things. Power Trick is really cool. Um, anyway, that is going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go down to the comment section right now and say, hey, nice vid. Or, you know, whatever you want to say. Um, you know, go down, comment, whatever you think about Shuckle. That works too. Like, comment, subscribe. All of those help more than you know. It's a huge deal um, to me. It's, it's just great. Like, comment, subscribe. Join me on Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Do all of the above. Every bit of it, you know, makes my heart warm inside. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.